Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. To TGIF, folks, let's make it a great one. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 277, Nasdaq's off 264, S&Ps are down 50, gold contract up $7, 20 cents trading at 17.38 an ounce. We have silver down 26 cents, $18.45 an ounce. Light sweet crude, where are you? Down a buck 52, trading out at 94.81. Notes and bonds, the 10 year note uh, bottom line, these are on the move top side, folks. You get the 10 year right now, trading up a full point at 119.29. The 30 year up a full point plus 25 ticks at 142.04. And the 10 year right now, folks, is yielding 2.77. We had a high of 3.4, it's 2.77. King dollar, this is going to be the one coming into the close, man. And, and, you know, it's already gained back quite a bit. And that's why you see this market going south. Uh, King dollar is down 198 ticks. It was down 550 this morning. Bottom line, it keeps clawing it back. Uh, we're at 106.712. The euro is at 101. The yen is trading at uh, 136.16. And the British pound is at 119 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. We're going to go over to the futures because the bottom line is that we're either going to go to hell in a handbag coming into this close, meaning the right to the bottom of this 3930. We hit 3941 thus far. Uh, all bottom line, you're going to run up to this uh, 3967. My, my take is we're that's what we're going higher. And the reason I'm saying it is that, so the S&P didn't get the test that low of yesterday. That being said, it's the NQs that run this market. And if we take a look at the NQs, the NQs got down to that level, rejected that level, and had lighter volume. So let's pull this up. It's going to be really tricky coming in here, man. So here's the number. Here is, here's, there's, the, there's the bar. The bar there was 12,373. I'll go right at it again. Uh, bottom line, that bar there had uh, 21,000 contracts. Uh, we made a low out here today with 12,000 contracts. It just popped. It was the first pop we got all day, but you only had uh, 9,500 contracts in it. You know, so we'll see where this, sh this baby's going to shake out. It's, uh, it's going to be a wild close, man. That's, that's the bottom line. Um, Gold. Let's go take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract and the equities had some good action out here this morning. A lot of these equities gave a lot of lot back on price, as did the contract. The contract got to 1755. Right now you're at 1738. Didn't hold price. It's a big deal. You couldn't hold price. No doubt about that. Let's go over to the note and bond market because we very well may have an ABC structure on the way up inside the note and bond market. And if we do, it's going to be amazing, man. Um, you know, because the, the aspect is that, you know, you have your next Fed meeting. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, let me just get the exact date. I think it's the 27th. Calendar. Yeah, 27th. Uh, but you can see this 10-year, man. This 10-year is going after a B point. And the B point had volume of 1.6 million contracts. And guess what? So you're going into the B point with 1.6 million. That's telling me it's going to break, and that's going. And this is a monster ABC up too, by the way. Okay, your B point here is that 120 and a half. Your A point is uh, 114 and a quarter. So uh, what did I say? 120? Yeah. So it's, it's six bucks, six and a half dollars. Well, it's going to get you to 124. 124 is going to bring us all the way back. Check. The, it's going to bring us all the way back to May, March 15th. And if that's what you get. Yeah, you're going to be talking about interest rates going down versus going up, and we'll see uh, just how forward-looking this market is because that's a twist, man. That's a twist, and if that's, that's the case. Now, let's go look at this dollar because the dollar is, you know, bottom line, 
breaking havoc on the marketplace. There's no doubt about that. It's pretty amazing that you only can get 400 point move, a uh, tick move. So look at this, right? The bottom line is that you can see this morning at uh, 10 o'clock, markets down the, the dollars at 106, 111. Well, guess what? You're at 106, 720. And the number, which is crucial, is right here. 106.792. And guess what? You know, we're right next to it now. And so we'll see how this shakes out in the uh, next few hours. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, you got Snap is getting smoked. That's down $6. You got Advanced Micro off 350. You got uh, Marbell down 63 cents. Apple's down a buck 54. You got Amazon down 262. That's going to be coming out with numbers. Facebook's getting slammed. Facebook came out with a statement last night after the close uh, that traded down $10 immediately. And what the statement was all about was that they're going to be copying TikTok ASAP. And that's what's going to be on the home page. So this is down 14 bucks right now because, of course, if you're changing a uh, business plan that dramatically, which they are, you know, bottom line, there you go. Pinterest also down uh, 280. We go into the uh, NDX 100. We take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. And... We have uh, Exelon is up 1%. You got Mondelez up uh, 8 tenths of 1%. Taken away from it. What do we have here? Lucent's down uh, almost 8%. Facebook's off 7.5%. Datadog's off 75 And the line technology is off 7 So there's big numbers, man, on the way down. There's no two ways about that. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Oh, here comes the pop, man. <laughs> you got to love these markets, man. We had a question. I had said that this was a, you know, white lightning. What white lightning is, don't, don't. White lightning, folks, is inside the option market. Um, the bottom line is that when you have option expiration, when you get a downdraft like this, it's pretty cool because you can get into, whether it's the Qs or the Spies, and, you know, they expire it at 4 o'clock. Um, and, you know, you, you basically can hit them for not a huge amount of bread and, you know, Bottom line, you're basically trading them, and because they expire so quickly, they're not a lot of money, and you know you get movement, and as long as you're buying them in the money, the movement's pretty quick. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16-year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, best of Healy, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, down 193. NASDAQ is off 239. S&P's off 44. So how you been, man? Pretty good, pretty good. How about you, good? I heard you're buying a stock today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna buy a stock, folks. What, what happened? You gonna love it. what happened last week? Is it uh, is someone? Did someone email you or they text Somebody, you? Somebody, uh, yeah, brought they, it on Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook. Oh my God, that's or, hilarious. Uh, YouTube, YouTube. Uh, okay, YouTube. So Bess is gonna buy a stock. We're, we're gonna get into that, but let's get to, to Philip and St. Pete first. <laughs> Philip, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tommy, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm very good. Cool, man. Cool. So. B N N L D, huh? Yeah, I wanted to see if you had any news on them. I've owned them for quite a while, okay. and the ticker just changed the other day, and then it and then it popped like today. Okay, so let's take a look. So this, I mean, I wonder—is it still a uranium operation? As far as I know, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it has here that you know is exploration and development company in Australia and Nibia. Um, I don't see anything here, um, but there's no doubt you get a nice pop from a dollar to a dollar forty-four out here. Let me just see this. Okay, so they were even less. They were less than that for the longest time. No, I know. I no, know. I, I can see that. I can see that the you know the yeah. There's nothing out here, Philip. I'm not. I don't know, man. But the good. The good news is that. Uh, you know, you, you get an equity that uh, was at a low, and now it's at a buck forty-four. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Why? Why did you know why uh, companies just change their tickers like that? Because I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, man. But when you <laughs> when you when you look at this, okay, so uh, check this out. I mean, you know, this company doesn't have any money. So, you know, I mean, they. The most that they've ever done, they did sixty-eight thousand dollars last year, and that's it. Yeah, you know. So, and their issue information—if you look at the issue, this is pretty wild, man. I, I mean, two thousand seventeen, they issued one hundred and thirty-three share, million shares at three cents. Then, two thousand eighteen, they issued one hundred seventy-three million at five cents. Then, two thousand twenty-one, they issued. <clears throat> 114 million at 10 cents, and then in April of this year, they issued 185 million at 22 cents. Yeah, so you get a crapshoot here, man. Huh? You have a crapshoot. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll close it out today. <laughs> right? It's, it, yeah, the, cl the sooner you can close it out, man, I think the better off you're going to be. I mean, six, okay. 68,000 yeah. for a year is pretty intense, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. How's everything else going, man? Good, good. You still biking? You going out this weekend? You still biking? Yeah. It's so freaking yeah. hot. So hot, man. I yeah. But... I know, I know. I found a nice park in Tampa last week. Oh, did you? Yeah. Which was nice. Cool. But if you don't go out early, you'll just have a stroke. <laughs> yeah, seriously, man. You need those salt pills, man. No doubt. Well, listen, yeah. man. It's always a pleasure, man. Thanks, Tommy. Have I a great one, man. It. Have a safe one. All right. Bye-bye. So... This company, yeah, you know they have no revenue, right? And people are still buying it. Yes. What What are they claiming? Why 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 should people buy it? 
The amazing part about the stock market is that you can get listed pretty easy. Okay. Okay. And that company that we that we just brought up is uh, on the over the counter Nasdaq. Okay. So. The way it works, as long as you, you know, basically send in the paperwork that you want, they'll list it. And then the, the key is is to market it and, you know, you're, you're telling a story and, you know, you know, you're supposed to be able to be making money. <laughs> I mean, that's the reality. Uh, in their case, they're, they're saying they're um, an exploration company. And when you are, when you are an exploration company, you, you're never making money. I mean... I've had, I own, I own Vista Gold right now. The zero's right across the deal. You know, I know they have an asset though. Okay. okay and the asset is a very large um, gold mine. But what does happen is that Vista needs a partner in order to develop that gold mine. I see. And so, you know, bottom line, until you have that, you have nothing really. You okay. know, but there's plenty of equities that, you know. <laughs> have nothing and you know uh, and then there's plenty that are basically a pump and dumps too there's no there's no doubt about that you know what i mean yeah no that's just amazing to see you know just no revenue and there's people are still buying it too. let me tell you when i when i see those up then i look at tfn and i'm saying to myself man are you kidding me man you know it's like yeah <laughs> you get the gist right it's like are you kidding me man how, so, I, I i at the beginning like 20 years ago i couldn't even understand how it could happen just like yeah. you, like, are you kidding, right? But that's how it works, you know? And there's plenty of folks that specialize in it, actually. So there, mo there must be some su success stories, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's not a lot, the, There's the, not a lot, the next not, not in that context, okay. but there are. And that's why that whole penny stock deal, that's why people do do it. I mean, there's, there's one out of a 99. Reminds so, me of that uh, Wolf of Wall Street movie. It's, it's, it, that's a beautiful, you know, yeah, example. Yeah. Huge example. It's, Huge. It's, so it looks like everything is red, huh? Everything's red, man. Everything's red, but that's all right. What's we got? What do we have left? We have uh, third. Uh, for, what? For, we have thirty-six minutes left. I think it's going to stay red. But as I when I was just coming on, see this with the, the top one that says thirty-one sixty-one. Yeah. I suspect that's going to get to thirty-one sixty-seven. And we'll kind of see what happens at that point. And why so, do you think it's going to go to six? Because what happens is that you know I'm all about price and volume, man. So, the, <laughs> so check it out. Here we go. You're looking at this, and you're going to see you get the pop, right? See this right here? That's the last place that we went down with volume. Where I got that? Yeah. That's you know that's fifty-eight nine thousand contracts. That's the last time we came down with volume. So what ends up happening is that markets like to go back. That's where the buying and selling is basically even, okay. you know. Now, if we get, this is what's happening right now. This last 10-minute bar, folks, we got volume in. We got 30,000 contracts, which is not bad. We're going to be going into that 59, though. So it's going to build a little clause there in order to blow, away, blow through that. But, hey, we'll see where it goes, man. Pretty cool. So real estate-wise, right, listen to this, folks, okay? We're going to talk about this a bit because this is really a trip. Um, I want to talk about the... You know, you went to that, uh, the VA yeah. and the FHA. Yes. Right. So, so wait to hear this. For all you guys, veterans and, and women out there that are veterans, this is really a trip, man. Yeah. I'm surprised I didn't know this either. Yeah. So, I, I knew part of it, but I didn't know the other part of it, right? Yeah, this is crazy. So VA and FHA, yeah. there's a no minimum credit score limit, right? So yeah. according to the federal government. So... These companies, when they're selling this, they, they put their own limits in there. Right. And because they're going to go out there and sell it, so they just want better products. But there are companies out there that will, you know, loan you money on a VA with, like, no no credit limits. Right. And that's going to be shocking, folks. We're going to talk about this when we come back, just so you can understand, you know, what Bestford just said. What, what he said specifically is the rules say there's no credit limit. And there's plenty of companies that say, no, no, you need this, this amount of credit. But guess what? We know, because he just went to a seminar, we know that there are brokers pushing paper that are saying, okay, we don't need a credit limit. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty crazy. That's insane. Yeah. Totally <laughs> it insane. Changes everything. Stay right there. Best of I come right back.